Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. We're going to continue solving uh, IB uh, exam uh, questions. We reach question number uh, 15 from your document. So the question says, in 1997, a high-speed car of mass 1.1 times 10 to the power 4 kilogram achieved the world land speed record. The car accelerated uniformly in two stages as shown in the table. The car started from rest. So the initial speed, U or V initial equal zero meter per second. You have a table, two stages, stage one, it times start from zero to four. The speed of the car was 44 meter per second. In stage two, between four second and 12 second, the speed of the car reached 280 meter per second. Use the data in the table to calculate first the average velocity in stage one, the average acceleration. Now acceleration is a change in velocity, change in velocity divided by change in time, which means V final minus V initial or U divided by change in time. Final velocity in stage one is 44. Initial velocity start from rest zero divided by time or change in time is four minus zero, which is four. So 44 divided by four, to give me 11 meter per second square. B, the average net force required to accelerate the car in stage two. Force equal mass times acceleration in Newton's second law. So I need to find the acceleration in stage two, acceleration, change in velocity divided by change in time. So same formula I'm going to use. V final here in stage two is 280. Minus V initial started with, with what? With 44. This is the initial speed. So it's 44 divided by time here in stage two, 12 minus four. So this will give me 236 divided by eight, which equals to 29.5 meter per second square. Total distance traveled by the car in 12 seconds. 12 seconds means I need this distance. I have to calculate the distance in stage one plus the distance in stage two. So first we need to find a distance in first stage. So at distance, I'm going to use this formula. S, here we re, we're using in the X direction. So S in X direction or the horizontal direction will equal U initial times T plus half acceleration T squared. He started the car started from rest. So this one is zero. Half, so it will be half times the acceleration in stage one is 11 times, I have four seconds in stage one, so four square, and this will give me 88 meter. Now second stage, second stage. I'm gonna use this formula because I have V initial and V final. So I'll use this formula to find the distance. So V final square will equal U initial square plus two acceleration times S. V final is 280 square will equal V initial 44 square plus two times the acceleration in stage two is 29.5 times S. Take this to the other side and divide by two times 29.5. We can finish it here. So I will take it to the other side. So we'll have 280. 280 square minus 44 square will equal 2 times 29.5 times S distance. Divide both sides by 2 times 29.5. 2 times 29.5. 
and you will get S is 1,296 meter. This is distance in stage two. So total distance, I'll call it S total, will be S1 plus S2. S1 was 88 plus 1,296, and this will give me 1,380. 84. That's it. We'll continue. Inshallah, with the rest of the questions, we can round this one to two significant figures. It will give me around 1,400 meters.